Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4 Pneumatic Craft Repressurized Another episode we are going to look at two things We're going to look at the Redstone Module And we're also going to have a look at the Universal Sensor So let's get started So this is the recipe for the Pneumatic <laughs> Redstone Module Actually it tells you in here, I haven't seen that before Show available parts Okay that's not what I wanted, let's go back again try that again so here's the I don't need very many of this I'm going to use make five I think we've got three already and I'll make another three so let's just put these back into here I think that was in here yep I can go in here and this can go back right fine emptied and the universal sensor is a little bit more expensive to build and this but it's actually very useful so let's have a look at the universal sensor and it looks like this so for, for that we need a seismic sensor, a redstone repeater, and the rest of it is fairly straightforward. Just a seismic sensor is another, this time we've got to get a note block. And I don't think I might have got one spare actually. Have a look. Yes, I've made it. But I've already made one before, so I'm not going to make a second one just yet. We're going to use this one. I think we don't need the seismic sensor just yet, but I'll just keep it because that's actually reasonably... The recipe for the sounds is actually yes, not too bad, but no blocks. It's just a lot of steps, that's all. So let's get on and put these down. First thing I want to do is to put down a little area in which to work. So I'm going to use this one here because this one has always got pressure. Um, but I need to actually do something else. You'll see this tank is full. Let's just right click it. It's full of LPG. The LPG's got nowhere to go to. But it has got somewhere to go to. It should be going in here. Um, and I'm not sure why that's not working. Let's have a look. I can't have a duplicate. I want this one. So if we use the logistics configurator and right click this, you'll see this is to take will receive 16 buckets or 16,000 millibuckets of LPG. And its minimum is one bucket. So it'll do a bucket at a time and fill it up. Or when it's got a bucket less so that's actually there and this is in fact it's got LPG in it it's going down slowly but that's not a problem with LPG you'll also notice this is actually running cooler this is a temperature of 32 degrees now and the pressure is actually 12 so I think that's what I set this to be up being yes so 12 bar so it's not using that much sure it's just ticking over occasionally putting out a pulse now where that's going to is going to one of these things here. It's probably coming to this one here. Because this is actually on. In fact, it tells you that the pressure is 0.99 bar. So it's using one bar here to keep this cool. And the reason for this is it makes plastic. So with a bucket, I'll just do one for the sake of it, just to make sure it actually still works. Let's right click this, put that into here. If we get our two pieces of plastic out of there for our, and our bucket back. I want to automate this, but I haven't figured out how to right click this with a drone yet. So anyway, with a bucket I mean. But there is probably a right clicking block in the pack, I'm sure there is. The so next thing, I want to make, make a pathway. So this has always got pressure in here, as you can see, it's actually 12 bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some pipe, but I don't want to put it straight down. I'm going to first of all seal off this this connector here like that. And then we can put a row of pipes down here so that they don't basically lose pressure in the network. It's not actually that essential, but it does stop things working. So you can just do it like this. I'm going to do down five pieces. And on the end of these five pieces, I'm going to put on the opposite sides, I'm going to put some of these redstone modules. We'll do one there, and we'll do one three, two blocks away here like that. Yes, that'll do. And we'll come over the other side and do it again. You'll find out why in a minute. I'm not going to use this one. That was just to show you the recipe. Um, it's night time, I think. Yes, it's night time. I'll come back in a second when it's daytime. So the default, sorry about that, <laughs> so the default behaviour of this it doesn't actually tell you, but it's actually in transmission mode, or it's emitting, so it says here it's emitting zero. Now to change that, you can right click it, and then it goes to a receiving redstone signal of zero. 
So we actually click on this now, get the thing here, it says this channel. So we can change channels. You can make it an orange channel, for example. Let's make these two orange, because they're nice. Pretty clear that these are two orange, like this. Let's get some levers. If I haven't got them with me, I didn't intend to do that. Redstone, I've got plenty of it. So let's just put some redstone down here, like this, and like this. And do the same on this side as well. A lot of the operations on here, uh, let's have a look at this again actually, let's have a look at this. So at the moment this is the, in the em emitting mode. So it says here that it's got pass through and it's got a drop down box, but that doesn't do anything until you apply an advanced PCB. And it says apply an advanced e PCB to enable more fe features. So we'll do that. I'll just to get an advanced PCB, I've got three here. So we'll actually do that on this one I think and then it goes green and we'll come over to the other side and do it on this one these are then two emitters these two are going to change to being both of them going to make them to receivers like this there's no point in putting a advanced PCB on a receiver oops because it doesn't have anything you can do with it except for change the channel so that's those so what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this up because now everything's sealed as you can see we can then reconnect this pipe into here like this. In fact, before I do that, I want to test something. So I'm going to quickly get two more levers. I don't think I've got any with me. I'll be back in a second with some levers. So here we are, I'll put down two levers. I'm just going to turn it on. Yes, it does work. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether these actually needed pressure and they don't need pressure as you can see. Uh, in fact, I've put that on the wrong side. So we've got a lever here, we can don't have to put a, block, a redstone block down, we can put a lever directly to it. So we can turn this one on as well, and we're going to get a, an output here of 15. This one should be 4, no it is 15, because this is 15, okay good. Now, with these things you can't put in an inventory on them. So for example, let's take an inventory here. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I had spent a while not getting this to work. So I'm going to show you not working. So that's in the receiving mode. Okay. And then you put it a something in this chest. We've got some 16 stone there. And that's actually going to emit a redstone value of 1. But of course it's not doing anything because that says nothing there. So what you have to do if you want to do it, this, you have to give it a redstone signal. So the way you give it a redstone signal is fairly straightforward, obviously. You just use a comparator. So you can put this down here like this. And then you can put a comparator down here like that. And then, when you put something in this chest, you will get a redstone signal out of it. And you can see here we've got a redstone signal of 1, and that's because this has also got a receiving a 1, and that's because the comparator doesn't mode compare, it doesn't, doesn't tell you, but you've got a redstone value of 1. So that's that. That's how you do this. And then this thing here is much more interesting and much more complicated. So let's use this white channel one over here and let's right click it so this time you've got a pass through mode and you drop this down box here you've got a lot more features and um, some of them are very obvious like and so you've got a white channel so let's and that with the orange channel here and then it will give a value out so now it's giving a value out of something in this case it's giving a value out of 15 and if we turn it off it's giving you nothing out of here because this one here has got a redstone signal. I'm just thinking how I can break that one, but it doesn't matter. So I think that this is, let's just put some redstone down here and see if it's actually giving you the, the redstone signal of everything or just giving you that. So if I put a lever down here now, that's going to have a value of 14. Um, and this has a value of 15. So it's not using that and that. I don't think it's doing that. Anyway, let's just change this now to being all. Oops, I'm trying again. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Let's, uh, in fact, let's just remove this from my hand here. And then right click this one with an empty hand. So this we've got and. So this is or. Now what this means is you've got this signal or this signal will give an output. So it's always giving an, out, an output. Why did I put that? Yes, that's right. Sorry. So I meant to pick it up. This is the input side, the one I want to put the redstone on. Put that, put that lever back again. Come back, lever. So this time it's still got an output here because this has got an input of here. Let's just remove this. 
So now it's off. So you've got or. Okay, let's put this one back on again. So now it's again it's or like this. In fact, I might as well just put a lever down here for the yeah, we'll put a lever down here. So now we've got a lever here, which is going to give a signal of 15. So that's now on, so that's now receiving 15, as it says. And the same is here, it's going to be out here of 15. So let's turn that one off, that stays on. The next one, let's change it to exclusive or. Now exclusive or basically means it's on if either of them are on, and off if both or none are on. So both on or, bo or neither on will give you an off state. So at the moment, this one is off. Turn it on. That goes off. Turn this one off. That goes back again. So as you see, now the other one would be both of them off, and it goes off. So one or two on goes off. That's exclusive or. The next one along is a bit more clock. Generates a clock pulse. Uh, and it's actually a pulse it generates. It's not a toggle, it, it is a pulse. Let's so just set it to say 15, because that's the maximum you can set. And it will just toggle, it makes a toggle here, or should do. And did I set that right? This channel, white channel, invert power. When there is no signal on the white channel, the output signal is 15 for two ticks. So at the moment we've got an output. So there you go, turn it off. It's got a flash here, see? So every half a second it flashes for two ticks. That's what the clock does. That one is orange, it doesn't matter about that one, just the white side. Next one, and here is comparator. Now a comparator compares two signals. So the output signal is 15 if the highest input value from the white channel is greater than the highest input signal from the orange channel. So it will give you a signal of 15 if it's higher. So at the moment, that's definitely off. This is on. Turn this one on. It's still off. Turn this one off. It's on. And the reason for that is that this is actually a 15 here. Um, let me move this chest out of the way. It's probably easier to understand this one if I do it slightly differently. Let's just take that off there like that. And then put in here some redstone. I'll put in three redstone. Like that and then put the lever down here like this and then turn it off so this is now 13 and this is higher this is 14 so if as soon as i turn this one off here it will go off if on the other hand i put down the lever here and turn this lever on it'll stay on because this is higher than this signal now this is reading 15 i think yes it should get a 15 signal in here and the compar it's comparing against the white channel, which is 14. So it should therefore be off. Turn that off, goes off, turn it, turn this one off. It stays on, because this is greater than that. But this should actually go off. Maybe I've got that wrong. I'll keep doing that, don't I? Let's put this down again. So this channel is white compared to this. So the output of 15, if they're white, Highest input from the white channel is greater than the highest input from the orange channel, otherwise the signal is zero. It should actually have a zero in here. And I have got that I'm a bit confused, but it should have worked. <laughs> Don't ask me, I'm not sure what's going on there. So let's look at the next one along the line. Subtract. This is now going to subtract the two inputs. So at the moment we've got an output here of 14. And here we've got 15, and here we've got 14. Doesn't make sense. Let's just do that. Now we should have an input signal of 1. Okay. Because that's the difference between that and this. If I bring up a lever here, let's put a lever here. I probably should have done this anyway. Turn this one. Then it's going to get an output that's going to have a value of 15, so it should have 2. And it hasn't. We've got that the right way around. This channel subtracts orange. The output signal is the highest input signal from the white channel minus the highest input signal from the orange channel. So that should be the white channel here, which is 15 minus 
13. It should give me a 2. Mm, don't give it. Tell you what. Just. <laughs> well, this is getting confused. Let's just put this one down here and turn it on. So this time it's. It's 0. Because that is 15 and that is 14. Nope, don't get it. Let's just do that. Okay, I'm confused. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting myself confused with this, and I shouldn't because it's very easy. That's 15. Okay, let's just take this one down a bit, take it further away, and then put the signal on here. So this should have a value of 14 because this is the value of 14. 14 minus this, which should be about 2, I think. 13. It should give you a value of 1. Correct. Let's put this here and put a torch on here, a lever on here. So that should now have a value of 2, because that's 15 and that is 13. Exactly. I uh, don't know what I was doing last time. Sorry about that. Let's just bring it out one more here and put another one down. And this time it's now going to have a 12. So this should be now 3, which it is. Good. Phew. OK, right. That's subtraction done. The next one along is compare a constant so this one here is comparing a constant from the white channel comparing it to 15 and so what does it say the output signal of 15 is the highest input signal from the white channel is greater than the constant value otherwise it's zero so if it's got to be greater than so that should be zero because this is 15 if we change this now to 14 it should give a value of 15 out here like that as you see because it's comparing the two constants and this 15 is greater than the 14 so that basically lies here it's a bit like a repeater in that case it's sort of acting like a repeater what do i just do then go oh. somehow or other i'm double clicking right clicking and dust me out that one then one so anyway that's that one the next one along here is toggle so this one basically toggles it. Now here it's not so convenient. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll move this, don't need this anymore. So this is a toggle. So when it goes on here as a high level, so at the moment it's off. So when it goes on, it should turn it off. You see? When it goes on again, it should turn it on. So it's toggling the two. It's basically a bit like an RS latch in this case as you can see very straightforward that one not too difficult to explain next one along here is constant and then it will give a constant value out simple as that it's 14 and that's it change this to 10 it's now given a value of 10 and the last one is counter and it's going to we'll say change the counter value to say 5 if I can and what that does, at the moment it's got a value of 10. That's going to count pulses. It, it's night time and raining. I'll be back in a second. I'm replacing that but lever with a button here so you can see it work better. So you press it once, it goes off. So that is zero now. It's count, reset the counter to zero. So the first time you turn it, it's going to have a power of 1. The second time you press it, it's just to lead the edge here. It's going to have a power of 2. And then this is going to keep going up until it reaches 5. 4. 5. Like that. And then the next one will reset it to 0 again. So it then counts up. And then it's basically um, a remainder function, isn't it? A module. So it's doing mod 5 on this one. As you can see. And it'll always do that. So it counts. It keeps counting up. And this keeps resetting it so one last time and that's it so that's what i wanted to show with the um redstone modules fairly straightforward and it's definitely got some uses what i wanted to do with it originally was to put it on here and measure the levels in this tank um for some reason these two drones are sitting here not feeding that and i don't get it and maybe they're full of some other liquid it wants to fill in somewhere else the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the, the sensor. And I think I've got to build another 
upgrade for it. So what I want to do here is I want to look at this tank here. And when this tank has got stuff in it, we don't want to process. In fact, if I want to do it properly, I would want to say I want to get a value of 15, but that means I have to use the register module. But the, f the first bit here, I want to have a sensor on here and I want to turn it off. So what I want to do is I want to basically come up here with a with the redstone signal. So let's demonstrate that first of all, probably easiest. I'm going to put a couple of pipes down here. And I want to connect this in. Before I do that, I want to put, I have to use a regulator. You'll see why in a second. I'll we'll put a regulator on here like that. And then we can put the universal sensor onto that. Oh, yeah. It's actually had some pressure in from before. I think I've got some upgrades in here, actually. Yes, I have. Good. The one I haven't got in here, I should put into security upgrade. Anyway, let's now connect this into here. This actually only goes up to 5 bar, by the way, so as you can see. If you connect it directly to this, which has got 12 bar, it, it blows up. It blows up immediately. And they're fairly, they're sort of expensive, so we don't want to waste them. So let's put this down here like that. So this is now operational. It's got 5 bar in it. Fantastic. So what I need now is a GPS tool. I've got a GPS tool here. And then that... There's different things in here. I'm not going to go through them all today. I'm just going to have a look at this one, which is the block upgrade. In fact, if we look at upgrades in here, it's this one. So it's a block tracking upgrade. And you can put that normally in your helmet to find stuff. It's really a finding thing. And then we need to go and build some more bits and pieces. And we'll do that in a second upgrades so it's got a block upgrade and it's got different levels here so it can measure redstone levels on the block it can act as a comparator and that's what i want it to do i want to act this as a comparator when it's on comparator uh, when it's in the comparator mode it will output a redstone signal in fact it outputs redstone signal from every face it's got so let's just do it like this and you can see it doesn't matter where it is it's going to output a redstone signal so the first thing we need to do is then use the GPS tool here. It's going to tell me, if I right click this here, it's got problems. So it says it's missing a GPS tool. Now you use the GPS tool to tell you which block it's got to monitor. The block we're going to monitor is this one here. So we simply shift, right click that. And then it sees it's got a grey block in there, which is the one it's telling you where it is. So we come along here, let me put this GPS sensor in here, like that. Now there are still problems, it's working as you can see, but it says, this is actually a little bug, but it says it's out of range of the sensor, add more range upgrades. So let's go make some range upgrades. I'm not sure how, to, how many to make, I'm probably going to make five. Or maybe we make full set which should probably be 10. Now how much space have I got in my inventory here? Not enough. Six. It will make six in that case. Because in here I've got some bows. Which how many bows we've got in there it doesn't tell you but let's just take them out. So we've got six bows in here. You need bows for the upgrades. So what we're going to do so I'm going to come along here and oh, get rid of that stuff. I can't get rid of that, and that should go away. Okay, so the, the pattern for this is basically bows and arrows. Let's get a stack of arrows, don't need a full stack, and then of course, we need the upgrade matrix is so we need four of these so let's just do it like this oops that's a bit strange I don't oh yes because this button's in the way <laughs> yeah okay let's just place those in the corners like this 
because the upgrade bits always go in the course and then we can go around here like this and put in arrows and we get this range upgrades because bows don't stack of course you've got to do it one at a time to make those I wonder, if that, I wonder if W works on this one no it doesn't and you'll notice that I've taken away or well I didn't sh shift click the recipe in if you do that you make sure you've got your best bow out of the way so you don't you don't use it and I think six upgrades range sorry six upgrades might be enough range let's go and have a look two is not still got the warnings three four five six nope it's not enough i'll be back in a second with more um so what's the actual maximum we can put in here it should tell me somewhere no it doesn't all right i'll be back in a second with some upgrades right i brought some more let's just try another one and sure enough that's now worked you'll see that the, this has gone green no problems and this is emitting a signal of 15. so we can use this now to actually turn off this so i wanted to turn off this one here now the way to do that is i need um a 15 i need four bar but i want it to come out here so we're going to have to go underground um so this will be where the pipe is and we need to go down one more block in order to do that so let's just drip down here two blocks should be enough one finger out <laughs> we've got the jump boots on here yeah. oops that was a bit strange okay so we'll pipe we'll put the pipes down ah oh, we can't do that not that way anyway i can do it down here no problem let's just do it down here go down and pick those boots up or can we yes we can so what we do is we put the pipes down like this because we always need a pipe here and that's where the regulator's got to go on so let's go and get these pipes out of here like this um let's just i've got enough inventory space yes i have good let's just break all of these that one that one that one and that one okay so when I put the regulator on here, it's not going to connect, allow connections from this side, which is very nice in this case. It hides it well, and it's also practical. So it can come down here like that. So that's, but I have to make sure this is turned off. So we turn this one off on this side. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see what will happen if I didn't, it'll blow up the sensor, no problem whatsoever. So let's now put another piece of pipe down here like that. So then it'll root its way around here like this. And I don't need these filling up, so I can just fill up these blocks up here like this. Like this. And then we can use the camouflage tool to do the camouflaging of these. I haven't got any grass blocks with me. So now I can put this also the sensor down here. Like this. Huh. Why isn't it? Let me connect that into there. Strange. There we go. Then let me take it onto the pipe. Maybe you have to press shift on the pipe. So this is, if you didn't do this, it would connect and it would blow it up. I've said that before. So now we've got this sensor. We have to reset it to being a block comparator mode again. That's it we don't have to do anything else let's just check it's got it's got pressure yes because I'm not compared to oh, I need the GPS tool that's right yes GPS tool comes out and we can take these out here now so until we put the number the right number in so it's only two blocks away in this case so that's now running and so this is then turned off so this has got no heat coming through here at all so this will not be making any LPG. It's actually working at the moment because it's, it's filling this up here, as you can see. 
this tank in fact is not giving an output signal but this is giving you an output signal here so let's just double check it and put down a piece of resistor put it down don't think it'll do any harm here no it will be connecting to this pipe so that's got a power of 15. so this is then off as you can see but this is still got bar pressure in it and it's going down so that's then not cooking so much this tank is full in fact yeah this is a provider frame here providing lpg that might have filled up this tank having thinking about it yes it did because yes of course it would do so that, but this hasn't got this has still got fuel in it and the fuel will actually be fed out of here so it's turned itself off as you can see if you click this one here it's got plenty of gasoline in here and, it's, and the pressure is reduced slowly reducing it'll stop working after a while which is good because it's basically it's filling up this slowly but this is also going out because this is filling up this tank so this tank's now full so that's it so that's an automation for this. Before I go, I'm going to put one glass, grass block down there. Let's just dig up one of these here like this. Let's see if that'll do two. Put down the, I'll we'll just fill those with dirt as we had them before like this. And then we can camouflage this. Let's get the camouflage applicator out here. And we shift right click. That, so that's now activated. I Think, and then we can right click this here. Come up with applicator graph block. Okay. And then shift right click. No, that's the. And hold on. I'm I always get a little bit confused with this, sorry. What's it doing? Shift right clicking. Okay, oh, it says it's right. Okay, maybe we have to shift right click this one. Let's go back here a bit. So if I can shift right click it on this one. No. Hold up. Shift right click to set it, isn't it? And then you right click to set it and left click to fill it in, isn't it? Or shift left click. Oh. Tell you what. I'm back in a second. Well, I think I'm doing it right because it says right click it. So let's first of all select a block. We don't need that. Oh, actually, we do need that one, don't we? So we want to right click this block here to pick it up. Shift right click clears it and right click as that applies it. And then I should be able to click a camouflageable block. We do I have to go down here to do this. So the camouflageable block is here. Ah, there we go. So I just right click the camouflageable block so I can put some dirt down here like that. And there we go. So it's now camouflaged. Phew, that was harder work than it should have been. And this one I have actually I removed the piston from here, which I shouldn't do. I need to make another cut. I'll do this all the way around actually and we'll have it all set up. So that we turn that off. And this is stopping making gasoline. This is the gasoline one. And you can do the same thing here, exactly the same as this, with another one of these. What have I got? Slowness? No, it went away. Because as you hit these things, you get slowness. So I bump into that. It's showing me. No. If I stand on it. No, it's not showing me at all. All right. So I'll do that between episodes so that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it next time i hope to be able to automate making of plastic sheets so until then i wish you all the best bye for now